Don't be an anti-national. Don't be an anti-national. Don't be an anti-national. Can I say something? Then I'll tell you why. He has blown what is colloquially called a chumma. Rahul Gandhi तो पुराने हैं ना mob के नाम पर vote नहीं मिलता तो फिर mob पर भी दुकान चुनावी राजनीति में इसका जिक्र क्यों करते हैं? किधर की तरह छिपे क्यों हो? आओ बहस करो उधर ठाकरे। ये शिवसेना का Rahul Gandhi साबित होगा। मैं एकदम आप लोगों के सामने clear कर देना चाहती हूँ कि मैं निष्पक्ष नहीं। मेरे office के अंदर, मेरे news room के अंदर, मेरे लोगों को खोया और आप कह रहे हैं हमने report नहीं करा? मुझे लगता है इस वक्त ऐसे भी लोग हैं जो खबरों से गद्दारी कर रहे हैं। आप cheating कर रहे हैं। आप cheating कर रहे हैं। Just before uh, I start uh, the talk with sir, I just want to uh, say a few words about uh, the state of media, especially uh, running a, uh, so in a in a way, in a very typical way, a parallel media house. Technology and uh, these opportunities that we see around us today, the innovations that we see around us in uh, today in media. A person like me coming from a very small town uh, near Pune, I would have never dreamt of ever uh, having or running a ship uh, of this media house as uh, Sir termed it. So in a way, the technology made it possible and uh, it made it possible with so few resources, right? I have, I, I had no resources at all when I started this, but these digital platforms, the digital connections that uh, we make uh, writing on these platforms that made it possible. But at the same time, when you are actually running these things and you are spending sleepless nights over a video that didn't work when it was actually really well made and when you have some random video going viral, so you are spending sleepless nights and uh, you're, you're putting all your efforts in it. So I just want to say one thing that uh, what does it take to run a parallel media house. Sometimes it takes nothing and sometimes it takes everything. Uh, with that, I'll just start. So uh, welcome to Indie Chat, this episode of Indie Chat. Yes, and uh, I have my favorite guest and also by the count of the views, the favorite guest of all the viewers, <laughs> uh, Raju Parvekar sir and uh, John Britta sir. So first of all, I would like to throw in the question, uh, a very uh, a very basic question. What do you think is democracy? That is actually, even I am wondering what is the meaning of democracy. At this juncture, whether we can think about democracy, that is something which is baffling me. In fact, uh, democracy has got, uh, I would say, huge meaning and it can be obviously diametrically opposite to many people. But for me, what I feel is that we have the classic definition of uh, democracy. But there is a tagline of uh, Washington Post. That is what I need to underline. Democracy dies in darkness. That is the basic issue which the country is facing. Why is it that we are facing darkness? Yesterday I was listening to the speech of uh, Justice Rohinton Nerima. I hope uh, some of you must have heard. He emphasized on the media vertical also. So these are times when we are facing darkness. And me being a journalist also, apart from being a member of parliament, I feel that though we need to be perpetually optimistic about media, there is a sunset of media that is happening. There are alternative medias like this, of course, like Indy. But generally speaking, there is a demise of the conventional media, which we need to acknowledge. And I am coming from Delhi. More or less, I am positioned in Delhi. 
I would say that the formal media has dead. I won't see a journalist in Delhi. They're all PR agents of either corporates or political parties. When you say political parties, I won't say any other opposition party. I would say the, the dominant ideology that is uh, naturally ruling over us. So the journalist, that is a demise, sunset. The media, there is a huge sunset. Already we all talked in terms of uh, sunset of editors, no editors also. So these are bad times. So when you ask me to define what is democracy, I find it extremely difficult to <laughs> define it. But I would release those days when I was a college student in JNU, when I thought it was democracy all around, when I could roam around, I could choose the costume I want, I could choose the cuisine I want, I could choose the topic which I want to discuss. I remember those days when we used to I mean, discuss about anything under the sun, something happening in, say, Iran, something happening in Ethiopia. But in Jainu nowadays, there are restrictions even to I mean, discuss topics now. You can't even pick up the cuisine which you want to. So I feel that 30 years back, I had little democracy. Now I don't have democracy. This is in comparative sense I am saying. So democracy different from countries to country, society to society. So I can't, I can't give you a definition which is firm for everyone. Me, a Malayali coming from uh, Kerala, my idea of India would be entirely different from the idea of India which you must be holding. That is what is called diversity. That is what is called India. But there is a huge assault on that uh, multiple ideas and diversity. Since time is short, I would uh, be quick about it, and Raju would uh, comment on that. So, I have answer. Hello. Huh. For me, democracy is Nehru's fault. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Raju, I made a speech in Rajya Sabha the other day. I said, if there was no Nehru, there would not have been any discussion from BJP. <laughs> <laughs> you pick up any topic in Parliament, where it is Kashmir or Kerala or uh, International topic or domestic politics, it's all Nehru, 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 Nehru. Yeah. But basically, apart from fun, democracy means living, being and living without self-censorship. Now, when I am talking or writing, I censor twice or thrice. I edit my script again and again. And I don't know why, not because of fear, but now I am used to it. And that is what I am day by day, this is means uh, rightly said, John, ki we are losing democracy. You it's are a being, sunset you are, of democracy. You are being conditioned. Conditioned, yeah. That's it. Right. Now it's Paolo theory is working. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, when you see that... Uh, uh, is this mic okay? Yeah, yeah it seems. Mic is absolutely okay. <laughs> Freedom is problem. Yeah. My, my voice is the problem. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So uh, when we look at democracy as a uh, as as a concept, it's a very uh, universal value. We look at it as a universal value. But let's say let's put it in context of a system, right? Uh, when we have uh, a electoral democracy as ours, so when the media function uh, conducts a function within that system, what as a political person, as a as a political activist, and then as a politician also, uh, what is your approach to the existence of media in this system? See, uh, there is no terminology which has come up. Uh, we all talk in terms of elections and democracy. But there is something called electoral, <laughs> I would say, <laughs> despotism that is happening. So elections also can throw up... Uh, Despotic leaders, which we are seeing now. So the, the very fountain of democracy can turn to be fountain of authoritarianism in a country. And even manipulation is happening. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So election can be a conduit or a purpose or a way to elect, I would say, authoritarian rulers. So it's baffling. It could be an oxymoron, but that's a reality. But do you think there is a foreign hand, foreign hand? <laughs> See... <laughs> No, I, I, I would say that uh, there are a lot of foreign hands. Yeah. 
and uh, now the technology i can tell you one thing uh, i was uh, participating in a debate in rajya sabha the other day that was on the cec ec bill and uh, you know we have a chairman now rajya sabha chairman vice president uh, who obviously doesn't like my face so <laughs> there is a bell who rings it see he likes only one face what is that <laughs> so he, he he likes one and a faces <laughs> see now let us talk in terms of the evms now all the evms in this country are handled by two public sector companies one under the defense ministry second under atomic energy that is prime minister till the evms are sent to different states or locations it's been done by executive it's nowhere in the world the chips are imported nobody knows i mean where, where what what actually is been done there the election commission doesn't have a role or a stake in that but still we believe that everything is fair and it's still 19 lakh uh, evms uh, lost in 9, 2019 election and nobody is uh, looking for it even election commission is uh, not uh, bothered about counting vvpat election commission is the b team of the actual department that is election department that is ed ed is the first <laughs> election department it's ed ec so so yeah. ed it cbi nsa nia election commission supreme court then what see i'll tell you supreme court there is a court the court, i mean there is a case that is on bb pat we all thought that there could be semblance of transparency when we bring this vv pat never in the history of india elections vv pat has matched the county never nobody has any problem suppose 1000 votes are there vv pat must be having 900 votes so even the premise of the i would say the fundamentals of the systems are i would say fudged still we believe that there is uh free and fair elections and transparency and why is it that countries across the world do not trust in machines for election are americans fools are they not techno savvy and even japan is a manufacturer of evm but they are not using evm for elections they are elections they use ballot papers right prathamesh <laughs> yeah but <laughs> prathamesh what was actually what was your question did i deviate from that <laughs> my, my my question was uh when you look at media as, as a, a politician you said right yeah ah, as, okay. a, as a as <laughs> a as a political activist uh, when you look at media as a element as a structure how do you approach it like what's your approach to it what are your expectations from it or what is your analysis of let it? me just tell you 30 years back i started as a journalist in delhi before that i was in jnu as a research scholar i can say there was a jugalbandi between the media and the politics during the parliament session you see i am somebody who is a witness or a participant of that process rajiv gandhi had come to power with three fourth majority even then the newspapers were carrying scandals of rajiv gandhi huge coverage of scandals the following morning all these exclusive stories investigative stories of newspapers would be raised on the floor of the house during the zero hour that may lead to fruitful discussions and decisions let me just speak up the example of buffer scandal there was a jpc and actually rajiv gandhi had to i mean uh, bite the dust because of the buffer scandal now let us visualize the scenario in delhi now the investigative story in the news media is nothing but an interview of a cabinet minister <laughs> that is it nothing more nothing less this is how the journalism has traveled so i don't have any element of trust in formal media i would say that i would rather trust you alternative streams but if you say times of india if you say the ndtv if you say any i don't have any trust honestly on this evening shows trust me i don't go for the debates you know why these are all factories of polarization 
all the television studios have been turned into manufacturing units of polarization in this country do you want me to be a participant of that polarization no only on exceptions exceptional circumstances i force myself to be a participant of that when so much of canards are being spread about my home state then i am compelled to go there at least to defend maybe 3 minutes or 4 minutes otherwise i don't want to be a participant we are all passive unfortunately this is the status of the media in this country i am i would say i am aghast and shocked i am ashamed to say that i am a journalist so i have shed that uh, even in my social media i have shed by journalist tag now i would say the politicians are much better i am not actually i mean <laughs> taking a caveat for all the politicians and rather one more thing i would say the biggest issue crisis for the media has been that the politics in the media has dried up if the media persons were po- having politics politics means you are not batting for a party or b party a political orientation a political perspective the so called apolitic journalists have created this crisis i would say the greatest journalists in this country were politicians like mahatma gandhi ambedkar bhagat singh used to do journalism in three languages and the biggest uh, prize which raju must be i mean uh, earnestly hoping to get is pulitzer pulitzer prize right like the oscar of uh, cinema pulitzer prize in the name of a politician joseph pulitzer he was a congress leader i would say congress member and a democratic party leader but nowadays people think that politics is something to be i mean you need to hate it when you stood away from politics journalism shrunk you need to have rightful politics political orientation political perspective i do believe that's an additional window to see the society you closed down the window you became so parochial all other layers of bias came and took you over this is actually what happened to the politics right uh, raju sir yeah. i'm going to play arnab for a while Uh, yeah. <laughs> do you agree with him no that means you don't no, want to I, talk I, I, i actually actually i want to take ahead his point no, just, i i'm i'm fully yes or no I, I, just say yes, yes or yes, no yes 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 why I, are you such a communist <laughs> oh because you, you, you are agreeing you would say nation wants when no. when you are living in a fascist state there is no neutrality possible yeah so whether you are communist or gandhian we are against fascism we are fighting against fascism so call me fascist uh, call me communist mm-hmm. call me gandhian anybody the point is i i want to take ahead its point means uh, what what he was saying the polarization is base of hatred and that hatred is abdul punctur wala ko tight karna hai wo hi hai abdul punctur wala ko tight karna hai ye bharat ki puri theme hai नए भारत की न्यू इंडिया मींस व्हाट न्यू इंडिया मींस अब्दुल पंक्चर वाला को टाइट करना है वर्सेस अदर्स सो ही इज ही इज एब्सोल्युटली राइट मींस जॉन व्हाट एवर व्हाट एवर ही इज सेइंग ही इज ऑफर बिकॉज़ ऑफ हिज एक्सपीरियंस एंड एज अ पॉलिटिशियन एंड एज अ जर्नलिस्ट एंड इन दिल्ली शाम को दिल्ली अवध और बनारस एक जमाने में सुकून के शहर रह करते थे आज के टाइम में शाम को डर दिखता है दिल्ली में मिलना जाना जॉन को मैं मिलने जाता हूं समझ लीजिए तो बीजेपी के सांसद को मिलना मुश्किल है वो डर जाएगा वो भले मेरा दोस्त होगा वो डर जाएगा वो बोलेगा नहीं आज नहीं आज कल मिलते हैं क्योंकि आज तुम उधर सीसीटीवी में आए होंगे <laughs> <laughs> तो यह डर किस बात का है तो यह डर एक पॉलिटिकल पार्टी ने 90 साल में नफरत की खेती का प्रयोग अपनी प्रयोगशाला में किया बाद में गुजरात में किया बाद में उत्तर प्रदेश में किया और पूरे देश में किया बट uh, <coughs> मेरा सवाल पूछने का जो लाइक माय द पॉइंट वेर आई एम कमिंग फ्रॉम लाइक लेट्स से वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट वी आर क्रिटिसाइजिंग 
the current government right now so does that mean uh, that we are partisan or does it mean that there is something factual uh, which we are criticizing so it's like second world war means stalin roosevelt churchill they are all together in yalta they were all together in yalta so we are part of the no but what stops uh, us being partisan like why why should our criticism of the uh, dispensation let's say uapa um, yeah <laughs> uapa uapa yeah yes no no but i'm saying you are in pune that's why you don't know what is it uapa id no he knows id you know yeah <laughs> uh, i i haven't had the fortune of being raided by the id just by the way <laughs> no, 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 it's not. He, no, no, I mean, yeah. I mean to say, I haven't earned See, that much. Here, here we have in Maharashtra. Here we have four engines government, <laughs> and that two engines came from ED. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, no, no, again, my my, what I'm asking is, let's say that someone, someone seeing this in the current environments, current understanding of the media, and uh, as he said, we have a, we have sanitized. uh the whole media construct with its without its political content right so by the essence of being political are we partisan yes yes Do, we are peep we the people means we all no but does it mean you are affiliated to a party because you have a politics in in your in your media but personally it's political yeah in a way personally it's political so i'm part of it no no but is your political hmm. partisan like is it related to congress party is it related to communist party uh, no is it's it? a people's war right it's people's war it's not about party it's not a political war it's people's war they are enemy of the people they are not enemy of the they are not opposition they are not oppo- op- they are not opposing opposition in he told about rajiv gandhi era he had फोर हंड्रेड एंड फोर सीट्स मीन्स मोदी के पास चार सौ चार आ जाए तो आपको पता चल जाएगा ये कॉन्क्लेव नहीं हो पाएगा yeah. नहीं हो पाएगा और इतने लोग आप भी नहीं पाएंगे उनके घर पे ही दबोच लिया जाएगा उनको तो दैट थिंग मीन्स मीन्स दिस इज वॉर अगेंस्ट पीपल मीन्स अवर गवर्नमेंट इज सप्रेसिंग इट्स ओन सिटीजन अनकॉन्स्टिट्यूशनली एंड इट इज part of my duty as a citizen of india to rise against it and what they are doing is a fascism and that's why uh, uh, there is a thin line between politics and personal and be, become a political party or become a member of cpm or uh, congress or any other party i am i am political party raju parolekar is a political party Prathamesh Patil is a political party. Niranjan Takale is a political party. He wrote a wonderful book about investigative journalist. Uh, he is a very good in- investigative journalist uh, about Judge Loya. Who killed Judge Loya? Yeah, yeah. Niranjan Takale. So nine years after uh, death of um, Judge Loya, still people and our judiciary is hanging between two models: either Loya model or Go Goi model. and so it's a dysfunction you should not cast a special on my colleague in that discipline he sit very close to me again that is also queen procure i was saying sarcastically uh, yes <laughs> ek 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 chief justice par yon shoshan ke aarop lagte hai uski sunwai khud ka khud hi karta hai wo khud ko bari karta hai aur baad mein wo ha sabse badi baat <clears throat> राम मंदिर जो बनने जा रहा है वो मस्जिद गिरी वो बड़ा क्राइम है लेकिन क्रिमिनल कोई नहीं है तो खुदकुशी है बाबरी मस्जिद की खुदकुशी है जिसपे राम मंदिर बन रहा है हाँ दैट 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 जजमेंट केम फ्रॉम दैट गाय एंड नाउ ही इज एम पी इन राज्यसभा बिकॉज ऑफ दैट वर्ड ही बेस्ट वाइन ऑन दैट डे या मौका दी मिला है उनको yeah. <laughs> अच्छा वाइन पीने के लिए <laughs> और और हर जज जब आता है तो हमें लगता है कि पहला अच्छा था <laughs> अच्छा सी 
somebody was uh, speaking in terms of the new parliament building. I mean, the last session. Yeah. See, the new parliament building reflects the mood of the country. Aesthetic-wise? No, no, I'm telling about <laughs> the... Aesthetic-wise, of course, obviously. I mean, uh, I would say whether you have got into a uh, Lulu mall or not. I would be surprised, not a parliament at all. But the way in which people have been segregated, journalists cannot see the politicians. The Lok Sabha member cannot see the Rajya Sabha member. Here, earlier, we all used to sit in the center hall. Senior journalists used to get the pass. Now somebody was complaining that, I think a journalist from uh, Mumbai. See, no, no journalist is allowed to meet a politician there. It's all segregation. It's completely. I, this, is the, this is the country. That, that new parliament building is uh, exact replica of uh, Somalian abandoned parliament building. Yeah, it, it, it looks like a coffin. And even Somalian people abandoned. And say abandoned. So now we are accepting whatever Somalia is rejecting. <laughs> now I will tell you if this Lord is Indy, but the India lines come to power, <laughs> we will go back to the old parliament. We have decided that. Oh. We will shed this new parliament. Because it's not a parliament at all. This is a Darbar of Modi. Oh, yeah. that, that is Academia Fascista, actually. <laughs> Uh, coming back to uh, again a very philosophical I'm really sorry uh, I'm, I'm really interested in uh, because I'm having this conversation with a um, like a senior party member <laughs> of a communist party uh, what I what I what I'm bringing back the discussion again to uh, what alternative vision that uh, some political party provides let's say or some political philosophy provides. Is that also connect, uh, censored by the media? Like, is there a, a certain vision, the ideology of the media, which calls itself apolitical, is, it, is the ideological very uh, visible? You know that only the hate and hatred gets lost so much of coverage. Nothing else. Let me just tell you one again. Uh, G20 was there. G20. That summit could have cost the country maybe 10 crore, 15 crore, 20 crore. Maximum. 4,500 crores have been spent for it. Mind-boggling figure. Even in Pune, you would have Wargraft you on that. 4,500 crore. Did any media write about it? No. And what has been the real content of G20? Let me just tell you. Two important nations stayed away. China, Russia. Immediately after the G20, you had a fallout with Canada. And, now US and you have a US court charging you, your official. The balance sheet of this 4,500 I would say the hangama is this. Did any media write a line about it? This is the plight of journalists in this country. The other day, there was some sort of a smoke attack in parliament. So no, I would say desperate people. I know, I mean, I'm taking a risk now, still. Desperate youngsters who were unemployed would have done it. Misadventure. But did any media comment out the fact that all these attacks happened during the time of BJP? Where it is parliament attack, where it is Pulwama, any attack. But the biggest irony in this country is that all these attacks have been turned in favor of the ruling party. Have you ever imagined a situation like that? A governor of a state makes abundant statements by saying that, see, Pulwama was because of our bungling. Did any media discuss about that? And let me just tell you, the other day we had a debate of the JN Gables. JN Gables. You know, you know the interesting thing? 
the debate was to end at 6 o'clock at 6 o'clock the chairman of the rajya sabha says that let few members who want to speak they can speak it's very strange that a chairman becomes so benevolent about it <laughs> you know what was the reason amit shah wanted to reply at 7 o'clock prime time prime time he wanted to reply and all the television channels have been lined up have you ever visualized a scenario like this see the front line media companies becoming propaganda machines this is the plight of the media in this country and completely traumatized and agonized Seven o'clock, and even seven o'clock, the chairman permitted one more member to speak. You know why? The Mondash rolling is there. <laughs> seven o'clock. Television channel ka ye saath baje ye Mondash chal rahe. Ye three minute or lega. <laughs> See, can you imagine a democracy being driven like this? Can you imagine such a? I would say such a slavish media ever. is it there in the ua is there in even the islamic countries you shudder to think about it yesterday adani bought one more media house ins ins yes. and another thing is i was looking at indi yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> and when well, years become bitter and, or and, no. you, and your <laughs> information then only i 4000 4500 crore is adani's son's pocket money <laughs> but uh, raju sir Uh, so now uh, considering what he said and considering the anecdotes and experiences from the earlier uh, sessions where in the persecution panel we saw uh, let's say there is a natural resource and there is a struggle against uh, exploiting the natural resource okay it ends up in the discussion uh, at the end it ends up the protesters are anti uh, development and the whole project is for employment and progress development right let's say there's a farmers protest okay then the farmers end up being anti development anti progress and the and khalistanis and the whatever the uh, opposing corporate is See, the, the, those who are opposed corporates either they are urban naxals uh, or they are uh, uh, khalistanis or Libranu, <laughs> Maoist, and basically call them dog and shoot them, <laughs> UAPA, and that is the most modus operandi of this government. And new laws are coming, new bills are coming, and every day a uh, new bill, new. Uh, but yeah, uh, no, sir. complete your point. Uh, my point is, ये बात नहीं है कि किसको पकड़ा कितना पकड़ा जल जंगल जमीन द प्रॉब्लम इज जल जंगल जमीन एंड एनवायरमेंट यू कैनॉट रिक्रिएट ना दस बार अगले बार इंडिया गवर्नमेंट आ गई समझ लीजिए ये हाइपोथेटिकल है यूटोपियन भी हो सकता है <laughs> लेकिन अगर इंडिया अलायंस की गवर्नमेंट आ जाती है तो जो जल जंगल और जमीन ये ऑलिगार और ये सरकार ने मिलकर खत्म कर दिए वो रिक्रिएट करने में लाखों साल लगे हैं बनने में तो ये रिक्रिएट नहीं कर सकते जर्मनी में जितने बम गिरे सेकंड वर्ल्ड वॉर में वहां वुडलैंड्स है जंगल्स नहीं बन सके सो so, ये जल जंगल जमीन पे हमारा हक है ये पीएसयूज पे हमारा हक है एल के पैसे हमारे हैं एसबीआई में जो पैसे है हमारे हैं और इसका सबका मालिक है अडानी तो हमने राष्ट्र सर्वोपरि की जगह अडानी सर्वोपरि बोलना शुरू कर दिया उसी दिन हम खत्म हो गए सेकंड क्या भगत सिंह इसलिए फांसी गए थे कि अडानी के हाथ में सत्तर प्रतिशत देश चला जाए ऑफ कोर्स ये सारे सवाल जो है वो मीडिया पूछती नहीं है मीडिया पूछती नहीं है क्योंकि आप फेक फोर्टीन को बैन किए आपने इंडिया अलायंस ने आपने बैन किया फेक फोर्टीन को लेकिन बैन नहीं उनको बाइकआउट किया बाइकआउट भी किया बाइकआउट भी किया नहीं क्योंकि कांग्रेस ने दो लोगों को इंटरव्यू दिया वही है हाँ लेकिन उनके मालिक असली गुनागार है मालिक जो है ओनर्स जो है अरुण पुरी है सुभाष गोयल है ये लोग नफरत फैलाने के लिए वो एंकर जिम्मेदार नहीं है 
ऊपर से अगर कहता है कि पगार मैं तुम्हारी बंद कर दूंगा तुम मोहत बहुत फैलाना शुरू कर दो क्या हिम्मत है एंकर की कितना नफरत फैलाए उसे एंकर को अब्दुल पंक्चर वाला से कोई लेना देना नहीं उसकी अपने तनख्वाह से लेना देना है तो वो प्रॉब्लम जो है वो ऑलिगार्क से एक पांच या छह ऑलिगार्क है जिनके हाथ में आज देश है और दो मेन तो हम दो हमारे दो है और बाकी <laughs> तीन चार है दैट्स लाइक आई मीन टू गुजरात नेशन टू इज बेचते दो करीते <laughs> तो ये जो शोले फिल्म है उसमें वो अमिताभ का कॉइन होता है ना कि वो एक्चुअली उछालो कैसे भी वो गिरता वैसे ही है सो so, मैं वो बोल रहा था कि ये जो ये जो मैजिकल uh, नेक्सस है ये नेचुरल है कॉर्पोरेट पॉलिटिकल और मीडिया ऑब्जेक्टिव्स का जो अलाइनमेंट है ये सीरियस नोट सी इट्स नॉट वेरी सिंपल the corporate media communal nexus has, has been always there it's very clear about it even my thesis in jain is on that if you just go to the roots of the communalism the right wing ideology in india it's on a very serious note i don't think i mean it fits with the what is it arnav goswami show <laughs> okay. see the media has been the torch bearers of this right wing ideology let us take the ayodhya movement at that time the hindi media they were the top vanguard it's like the american media being the vanguard of all those uh, i would say invasions which happened embedded journalism it's i would say much more than embedded journalism the media traveled ahead of the hindutva ideology in the north why is south distinct that also is very important the media in south didn't travel along with the hindutva ideology wherever the media traveled along with the hindutva ideology the landscape political scape of the region has changed drastically trust me what is it do you mean to say brahmanism everything is involved and one more thing see you can hate media you can't ignore it you know why at the end of the day media is mind industry it's the industry which transforms your mind so why india has changed drastically is because the media has converted your minds he was right when he talked about the environment i mean the impact that is going to be there which cannot be reversed whether somebody else come but let us think about the impact on the minds of the people it is serious chasm people in north you are sitting in pune pune is i would say far away from mumbai <laughs> <laughs> i don't consider pune to be part of maharashtra honestly speaking think about an average human being in north india the extent of deep fish the chasm that has come up how are you going to weld it see the extent of hate the muslims are no longer human beings there i can tell you no longer trust me i am also from a minority community but i don't face that much of because i am seem to be somebody powerful with that tag of being mp but an average muslim means muslim is seen as a mughal descendant see tomorrow if somebody sees the demolition of babri masjid as part of a freedom struggle i won't i won't be surprised even the butchering of muslims in gujarat has already become part of the freedom struggle movement in this country yeah, yeah. Got, they, they, it's, it's completely garlanded miss they uh, so so when we talk in terms of i mean say the environmental uh, uh, hazard which have been played by adani and others but think about this how are you going to rectify it see that's why i'm saying even if a government which is not in terms of communal agenda comes to power it may take decades to recover this fish that is something which is baffling me which i am completely paranoid of yeah. this 
the social health of this country has changed drastically. Social idioms have changed. And that's what I'm seeing. And I, why I'm so, I would say, hateful about the media is that in better coma, these rascals have been the torchbearers of this. Hmm. I didn't call you, okay? <laughs> See, these people are producing hate and hatred. The biggest manufacturing units of this hate and hatred are being operated by journalists. The media houses. See, India had two press commissions for students of journalism. And both these press commissions were unanimous in their recommendation that industrial interests should be dealing from media interests. Surprisingly. That means no business group should be allowed to run a media venture. Both these press commissions. None of the members of the press commissions were uh, communist, I would say. They were all, I mean, Divan of Travancore, like uh, CP and so on. But surprisingly, both these press commissions took a decision I mean, report, submit a report, dealing industrial interest. In hindsight, I would tell you, the biggest crisis that has happened to the media now is because of the industrial interest of the media. You are not caving. Why? You don't have an industrial background. Why don't Outlook cave? They have rehajasti. The industrial houses completely caved into Hindutva ideology. Out of fear, out of favor. These two things. Mm. So, in hindsight, the biggest crisis that has happened to the media in this country is because of the intrinsic link between the industrial houses or the corporates and the media. This is what has happened. My yeah. submission, okay, we can differ with it. Yeah, yeah it... it a different thing is corporates or industrial industrialists are different from oligarchs. These are mafias. They are not producing anything. They are not creating wealth at least. A capitalist, capitalism, model of capitalism means what? Creating, creating wealth. Distribution of wealth is a different thing. It's a, it's a welfare state's uh, uh, business. But the problem is these people, hum do hamare do, Mike, do hamare do, they are not industrialists either or they are not businessmen. They are not capitalists. They are oligarchs. They are basically operating by the code of conduct of Kasa Nastra, mafia. So, they are not producing anything. They are not creating wealth. They are not creating employment in the country and at large country is suffering from uh, unemployment uh, poverty uh, low gdp fake uh, statistics and ultimately young generation demographically we are young country so young generation polarize easily you can polarize them through hater and uh, you can say ki yehi dushman hai muslim hi tumhare dushman hai dalits tumhare dushman hai adivasi hai nahi vanwasi hai to youngster ko dusra kuch kaam hi nahi hai kyunki capitalist state mein ja america bhi capital capitalism hai american ke apne faults hai lekin america mein creation of wealth hai aap elon musk ko id dal nahi sakte biden ke khilaf likha isliye aur wahan fbi aati hai to President ke ghar bhi aati hai. Aur president bhi ab chak, pahla president bhi chakkar laga raha hai. Capitalism is to a comp completely different. This model is a basically Italian, Sicilian mafia model. Exactly. Uh, can I just supplement you when you talk in terms of ED? Uh, you all know what has happened in News Click, Premier Prakashta. Was there a discussion on that? Was there a discussion on that? No. I am privy to that in the sense I know what has been happening there. I would tell you, three years ED, CBI, Ingan tax. Diligently investigated. Kuch nahi mila hai. Kuch nahi mila hai. Iske baad dada ko laya hai. Koon? Delhi police hai. Oh dada hai. <laughs> they are not bothered about the nuances. UAP hai. When UAP is there, the courts cannot do anything about it. Right? 
And you know what is the primary charge? Chinese connection, which I have looked into as a member of parliament. I have diligently looked into these verticals. It's a blurred area. The fellow made, fellow is an American citizen who, who has, I mean, given the money. And the money which he generated was out of selling his company. An American company again. See, if at all you are saying that you have a Chinese connection, then the first rate should have been on PMO. You know why? Are PM care ke liye kon kon contribute kiya hai? Is Sara Chinese companies? Most of the Chinese companies have contributed lavishly to PM care, which is not a transparent fund. I asked three questions in parliament, say it's a private fund. Have you ever heard such a strange idea that PM care, which it's is. Symbol. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Symbol, government symbol. So the first trade should have been in uh, PMO. Because Chinese company diya paisa. Kaan se paisa hai? Ye puchna tha. Further, I was telling, I mean, uh, there was a heated debate in Rajya Sabha. I was telling the Commerce Minister, Industry Minister, I said, the one government who must have favored Chinese maximum is Modi government. You know why? The trade deficit has doubled during the time of Fintan. Yeah. Doubled. The import from China has gone up like anything. Is this seva kon kiya hai? Can anybody do, I mean, so much of service to China? So the government should go lock, stock, stock and barrel to the Harjain. If at all Chinese tag is the issue. <laughs> but did any media, the poor guy Prabir, Yes, same. Courts also, also supporting uh, playing team B of uh, government. Because see, Prabir Purkaistha, two lines wo New York Times me chapa tha. Wo Prabir ka kuch lena dena nahi tha, nahi uske wao par kuch aarok tha. Pura Hindenburg report aya, to wo videsh ka hai, hum usme kuch nahi kar sakte, Supreme Court is saying. And moreover, if you, if you are seeing New York Times and Washington Post as the gospel truth, New York Times said that you have bought Pegasus. Yes. <laughs> and all these exposures about Adani has come in New York Times, yeah, Washington Post, yeah. Financial Times. So can you selectively pick up something from uh, I mean, American media? You should have a wholesome view about it. Right? New York Times exclusive reports on Pegasus, when it was bought, how it was bought, when I, Modi and Netanyahu was strolling on the Kaifa, what is beach? Kaifa, Kaifa boat. Kaifa beach. Strolling as supposed to be lovers, like hugging. <laughs> eh? Pegasus was there. And even now, I will tell you, you and me, three of us journalists, I'm not a journalist anymore, but I will tell you that. <laughs> See, we are absolutely clueless. The audacity of the Solicitor General of India telling Supreme Court that, I cannot tell you whether we have bought Pegasus or not. Why should I tell you? Why should I tell you? Give us an affidavit that you have not bought, you purchased for Pegasus. Why should I give you? Why should I file an affidavit? Still open ended. The so called, uh, I mean, celebrated judges of Supreme Court, I would say, do not have basic guts to ask the government. Purchase kya kya? Nana. And even in Rafael, they are. Again and again trying to... na today in media part, this means he yeah. wrote yesterday, he, the government is trying to do it, that it We are not talking about democracy now. There is no rule of law in this country. What happened in Rafal? You know the latest you know? Yeah, media part. Ka. Huh? No, no. The, the French ambassador has been <laughs> tracking our counterparts. Please cooperate with us. <laughs> the, the courts in France have been after India government. But we are not interested in that. We are recruiting people, rocks to, I mean, kill somebody here and there. It's like, a, that's another yeah. thing, okay. The one of the most corrupt governments since independence. Corrupt and fascist government since independence. And this time, it means the darkest, darkness at noon. Yeah. Uh, my last concluding remark I would ask you to make is uh, both of you can answer this. You could uh, have said, please stop. 
<laughs> no, no, it's just that. Uh, don't be that sophisticated. Don't N Ram, N Ram sir is waiting for us oh, for the sorry, keynote. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, so, uh, my last concluding uh, question to you would be there are a lot of journalism students here and also uh, people who are getting introduced to the world of uh, like behind what goes behind camera, behind the camera, right? So, uh, what do you expect? the future journalists, the coming upcoming journalists to do, is it like you are asking exemption from criticism as an opposition party right now or as a political activist or uh, are you asking for a fair treatment? What What is it that you are asking? See, uh, I'll tell you, I am coming from a state that is Kerala where the media, 99% of the media are taking on the state government, left and right. Very critical of the state government. Right? I have no qualms about it. Let the media be like that. Let the media be like that. You take any major main media house in Kerala. All of them are anti-left. All of them. Take Madhubhumi, Manorama, Asianet, whichever channel, whichever media houses. Can you envisage such a preposition in any other state? In the country, you cannot even dream about it, I am telling you. It could be a nightmare for anybody. So for the upcoming journalist, I won't, I won't be pessimistic, but I would say that trust your device, this device, rather than the so-called Times of India or other journalists. This is much more powerful. You should use it. You are all journalists, better journalists than the so-called journalists who must be queuing up before the mandralaya for the Dibavali. <laughs> <Deepa. laughs> <That's a, laughs> no, daba. daba and daba, the daba, daba. Yes. So, I mean, I won't, I mean, paint a pessimistic picture about the media. And of course, I would say that there have been ups and downs in the history of every country. The trajectory of every country would have faced such darkest hours as he rightly said. So, as a politician, I am perpetual optimist. And I am also very happy that though my party, I would say that I am politician, my party is limited to Kerala. See, beyond the physical borders of Kerala, see, we have an influence which can inspire a lot of people outside. I worked in Star Disney two years. I was surprised. Yeah, my Star is based out of... Uh, I was surprised. Many of the top-notch uh, people are left-oriented. In the sense, they are not communist, but they feel that we need to have liberal propositions in the country. So at least we have, have been a fountain of inspiration for millions of people, though they may not be converted as, say, Oats or Oat Bank here or there. So we want to continue like that, remain to be like that. Yeah. Yeah. Sir? I'm also not pessimistic, but still I want to warn you, means if you want to become a journalist and you are studying for it, means today's India is better for, better pro there is a better, pro there, there is a better prospects for public relation of BJP than, than being a journalist. <laughs> journalism is a not a profession. Basically, journalism is something which is conviction, more of a conviction. And uh, I'm, I'm doing this and I'm criticizing government. I'm, I'm taking them head on. Even Prathamesh is taking, John is taking. Because, because our convictions are matched by our actions. That's all. That's, makes, that's what makes you a journalist. Otherwise, try to be a, be a PR person. And that is, that is a good profession, good job. Good, good opportunity good and good money. money. Good money. Great yeah, Adani money. will pay you very handsome money. Yeah. Really. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, thank you for giving your invaluable time and also your uh, uh, takes on these issues uh, regarding the media. And we wish to see you again in Maharashtra. Uh, you, you, you should visit more often. And I, I would wish to see India to be like this not being taken over by Adani one day. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Great. Thank you, sir. And, and last, last is Daromat. <laughs> Daromat. Yeah. The whole day, conclave. Ghar jate wak ek hi leke line, do hi loves leke jana. Daromat.
हिंदुस्तान मोहब्बत की दुकान है और मोहब्बत की दुकान रहेगी एक बात मैं कहता हूं कि प्रथमेश की वजह से आज इंडी जर्नल का कॉन्क्लेव हो सका प्रथमेश और उसके साथी जो भी काम किए ये पूरे कॉन्क्लेव के लिए मैं उन्हें बहुत धन्यवाद देता हूं ये पूरा करना इतना आसान नहीं था थैंक यू सो मच